Right, we've got this uh, running quite nice and stable now. It's running extremely fast, that is. I don't know if you can hear the wind coming off it. But the, uh, we've got uh, two coils around the outside. Uh, this one's the power coil, which is being powered from uh, this little uh, yellow jump start thing there. Now, uh, the other coil here is a uh, bifilia, but I'm only using one half of it, uh, which is supplying that capacitor and bridge rectifier there. And you're getting a, a decent 12 volts DC coming straight out of that and back into battery A. And the flyback voltage from uh, that battery and this coil is going straight back into there as well. And we're charging at 12.5 volts, which is great. The uh, I think it was on just under 12 volts when I started this about two three minutes ago. And uh, I'm going to cut this video and show it in about half an hour to see uh, what the, uh, the final voltage is after half an hour's charge. That's great. This is the uh, same setup running about uh, 15 minutes later. We've dropped to uh, 23.5 for the capacity charging over battery A, which is uh, charging now at a total of 12.38. I'll do another one in a second. Right, we've got this another uh, 15 minutes later, so it's half an hour from the, uh, when we first started. The, uh, we're getting 23.8 across that capacitor there, which is charging battery A. And the full charge voltage on uh, battery A is 12.42. Uh, we're still supplying the uh, power coil from the uh, yellow starter. That is the generation coil, which is getting that voltage. Now what I'd like to do is to uh, switch it off. And see what happens to the uh, voltage charge on battery A. It was about 11.74 before, ish. I know it's spinning quick, so it takes ages to spin down there. As soon as I get my oscilloscope, I reckon I'm going to uh, find out the exact uh, speed that it's uh, rotating at that. So we're down to 9 volts now on the capacitor. Right. Still spinning. And the three volts now. Two point five. Down to two. And the charge across the battery looks to be twelve point one six. 
Let's see what it's like in a second after it's all finished. Let's we'll, uh, slow it down and wait for the capacitor to discharge fully. Almost discharged. Now I think that was on a 11.7475 ish before, so uh, it looks like we've got a 0.35 gain on the battery. Wait for this to get down completely. One four. It's taken a while for the last little bit to come out of the capacitor. So if we assume that that's going to go down to 12.1, it means we've got uh, 0.35 gain of voltage. So that's quite good for a half hour's charge. That's great then. Yeah.